J-Post correspondent refused entry for Obama visit. Sex crimes allegations rock presidential race. Poll shows most Palestinians doubt deal is in near future. And rock and roll legends confirm June concert. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. Here are the headlines for Tuesday, March 25th. The White House expressed deep disappointment over Saudi Arabia's decision to deny an entry visa to the Jerusalem Post Washington bureau chief Michael Wilner, who was planning to cover President Barack Obama's visit to the kingdom this week. We spoke to Michael earlier this morning about the decision. Well, I was expecting to go. I had a bag packed, actually. And I think folks in the administration were expecting the trip to work out. Look, I'm an American journalist covering the travel of an American president. We consider it unfortunate that Saudi would deny any legitimate reporter the ability to complete that work, much less one properly credentialed in the White House press corps expressly invited on the trip. We have little doubt that my access was denied either because of my media affiliation or because of my religion. And that's a grave disappointment and a lost opportunity for not just the paper but the kingdom. The kingdom held Wilner's passport for two weeks, though their embassy's website claims turnaround for visas within 24 hours. Saudi Arabia does not typically grant journalist visas. The kingdom issued a statement denying that they did or had ever denied Americans entry based on religion. The charges that Energy and Water Minister Sylvain Shalom harassed a female employee 15 years ago sent shockwaves through the political arena Monday, days ahead of his expected announcement that he would run for president. Shalom was questioned under caution by police today for two hours as part of the probe into the sexual harassment allegation from 1998. The testimony will be passed on to the Attorney General, who will decide how to proceed with the case. Shalom had already decided to run, but he delayed the formal declaration of his candidacy, perhaps because there were rumors about the charges. He reportedly had a lengthy, positive conversation with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu about his candidacy late last week. A public opinion poll shows a total of 62 percent of Palestinians would oppose the U.S. proposed framework agreement if it includes a request to recognize Israel as a Jewish state. The poll, conducted by the Palestinian Center for Policy and Survey Research, showed that 56 percent of Palestinians believe that PA President Mahmoud Abbas will accept the framework agreement. The poll also showed that Abbas remains the presidential favorite and would receive 52 percent of votes were elections to be held immediately. After months, even years of speculation, Israelis can finally get some satisfaction. The Rolling Stones are officially booked to perform on June 4th at Park Hayyarkhan in Tel Aviv. The long-coveted show was announced Tuesday morning in Tel Aviv. The announcement came days after the suicide of vocalist Mick Jagger's partner, fashion designer Loren Scott, which forced the cancellation of seven shows. The show's producer, Shuki Weiss, could not be more pleased with the confirmation. In these days, when we hear calls for boycotts from around the world, it's not taken for granted that a band of this magnitude will come to Israel, said Weiss. Tickets will go on sale March 27th, and the Stones' Tel Aviv show will undoubtedly be one of the most talked about in Israel's history. That's all we have time for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more headlines. Until then, shalom and goodbye from the Jerusalem Post studio.